I'm Rudy. I'm the director of the Luxembourg Center for Systems by Medicine. And since September 2009, I'm here in Luxembourg, uh, building up an entirely new interdisciplinary center. And the major goal here is to understand how diseases develop, but from a overall point of view, trying to get an idea about all the components that uh, are involved in the development of a disease. This is called a systems approach. We're looking not so much at the individual parts, but at the entire system. So one of the goals of the LCSB is to have computer scientists, physicists, mathematicians and engineers look at diseases and we are looking at them like a network of many interacting components in order to understand these networks, we call them disease networks, with the components being this certain genes or certain proteins or certain metabolites in our blood like glucose or, or cholesterol and others. What do these individual components do? How do they interact with each other? And these networks are so complex that you have to do this by uh, computational uh, approaches. So one of the major goals is to understand the what we call pathogenesis. How does the disease arise in the first place? How many subforms of the disease are there? What is the best treatment for each subclass or group within Parkinson? There is uh, probably 10, 15, if not more, subclasses of Parkinson. We call some of them Parkinsonism. They are like Parkinson. We would like to make a much better diagnosis and uh, categorize uh, the patients in a much better way. The, the goal is to give the right um, diagnosis early on, before motor symptoms, shaking symptoms or other symptoms arise and make a specific diagnosis uh, to the specific type of Parkinson and also other neurodegenerative diseases. Well, it's a lot of fun to build something up. Once in a while you're a little bit nervous. Uh, does it work? Does it not work? But um, building things, I like to build things. And uh, I think this is something we have the opportunity to build now, which is of long term which has a great potential, which is scientifically very exciting. Uh, and I think it's relevant for society, both for the individual, but also for the whole country in terms of economics, medical relevance, and the well-being of its, uh, the people that live in this country.